Assalamualaikum everybody, how's everybody doing? So today's vlog, um, I'm going to be sharing my experience in Pakistan because quite a lot of people I've seen on social media thinking of moving to Pakistan but they just don't know what to do, they're completely lost because it is a big move moving to Pakistan. Um, you know, we moved to Pakistan as a family so yeah, it was a huge move and it actually took us five years of planning and everything and no one was there to answer our questions on um, you know accommodation finance and um, basically you know little, little things and we had to find out for ourselves so today I'm here to just say that if you're thinking of moving to Pakistan I'm here to help so do leave any questions that you have in the comments and I will definitely do a vlog and uh, answer your questions so, like I said, uh, when we moved to Pakistan, it took us five years. Like, it was a big move. So, five years, during that five years, we had to think about schools, accommodation, what area we wanted to live in, you know, uh, what else do we have to think of? And what our income is going to be. Now, during that five years, we came to Pakistan. We bought a house in Islamabad because that's where everybody goes and um, that's all I'm actually seeing now as well on social media it's mainly Islamabad Bevia town area and we purchased a house there because we thought that's you know lifestyle we want for our kids but we're still in Pakistan so it would still be a lot less worse than England but unfortunately a few months that we stayed there um, I was completely wrong so this is what I mean you know if you've not experienced it you're not you don't you don't know so well, we stayed there for a few months and then I, I just didn't like the you know the whole society area basically the way people were the way people behaved their attitudes and things like that I mean I've been brought up in different ways. Some people might find it comfortable. You might find it comfortable, but I started feeling a bit uncomfortable around there because it was just like, wow, have I just landed in uh, England times 10 worse? So we then made the other big move of moving to my in-law's house. Uh, now, my in-law's house is in a village, so obviously completely different from England to a society, posh society, uh, into a village. Now... We also had to live with extended family during, uh, well, we still are, but I'll, that's a whole different separate vlog because it's a whole mission to move to Pakistan. So, yeah, so we ended up in the village and living with extended family, meaning uh, in-laws, sister-in-laws, their kids, and uh, that was a massive culture clash because for in from the start when we're young we talk to uh we are taught manners and how to behave and how to speak to people etc but unfortunately here in Pakistan that's not been taught in schools and that just saddens me so there's a big culture clash I mean um I tried staying with them for a whole year but uh we eventually then moved uh, because it's a big gutty uh we ended up in the uh, moving up in the second portion of uh, the top portion of the house um that was another expense that we had to do again because we had to get wardrobes fitted new furniture uh, marble put in and it was like new doors etc to make it like basically it was like to, to 100% be here you know for years on end you will want to go back to England you will want to see your family members there so that's another expense also if you've got children schools now um I did put my children into Beacon House School in Islamabad and then obviously when we moved down into the village area I moved them to the Beacon House where we live and um expensive who's going to take your kids to school back and forth uh, because it's summer, sometimes you don't want to leave the house, so you've got to keep a driver as well. Uh, second thing is school fees. Now, unfortunately, I'm, I'm not happy with the education in Beacon House because I just think they're taking, they're ripping you off, basically. They don't teach children full-time, and uh, there's lots and lots of school holidays as well, So, but you still got to pay the full amount, which is just ridiculous. 
So yeah, you got to think uh, about a lot of things before moving to Pakistan. And like I said, I'm here to help. But uh, do subscribe to my channel and check out my other vlogs. All my other vlogs are just mainly about Pakistan life and uh, our England life. And literally all the shopping that I do in England when I go there. So do subscribe to my channel. And uh, thank you for watching. Do comment below. And like I said, I will do a separate vlog for all your questions. And uh, I will help you and guide you as much as I can. And because I've got the experience and I can speak the language and I can be like a little tour guide, guide for you, basically. So uh, thank you for watching my vlog and do check my other vlogs out. And today, yes, we're having chicken and chips. Uh, thank you.